The topic we are going to discuss today is aldol condensation. Now before aldol condensation we have to know like which kinds of reactants work under aldol condensation. So the especially aldehydes and ketones. Now what are aldehydes and ketones? Aldehydes and ketones are the compounds which contains a functional group that is C double bond O. Now what is C double bond O? C double bond O is also called as carbonyl group. Okay, the difference between aldehyde and ketone is aldehyde has a C double bond O where C one is connected to the hydrogen and the other one is an alkyl group. Whereas in ketone both the side we have alkyl group. Now what is alkyl group? Alkyl groups are the alkenes with one less hydrogen. Suppose we take methane. Methane the formula is CH4 but if we take an alkyl group that will be one less hydrogen atom. That is instead of CH4 it will be CH3. If we take ethane, it is C2H6, but if we take as an alkyl group, that might be C2H5. So R1 and R2 means alkyl group, any group it might be. R1 and R2 can be same as well as the different. And now order condensation. Now what do you mean by condensation? Condensation is the combining of two molecules giving you a big product with the elimination of small side molecule that is water, it may be ethanol or it may be a sodium hydroxide which are a small side product. Now aldol condensation, what kinds of aldehydes and ketones come here? So usually the aldehydes which has an alpha hydrogen atom reacts under aldol condensation. What do you mean by alpha hydrogen atom? So we consider the C double bond O. C double bond O is a functional group here and this carbon is attached directly to this C double bond O. Hence it is alpha carbon and all the hydrogens attached to this carbon atom is called as alpha hydrogen atom. So now we have taken aldehyde. We have two, uh, two units of aldehyde. These both two units of aldehyde which is having the alpha hydrogen atom combined with each other in the presence of a dilute NaOH. NaOH is a strong base. Instead of NaOH, it can be any strong base. So dilute NaOH, we get a product that is p hydroxybutanol that is an aldol. Aldol is a mixture of uh, C double bond O as well as O. So carbonyl group and alcohol together as given as aldol. If it is a ketone, we will give it as ketone. Okay. So now p hydroxybutanol is a beta hydroxy aldol as well because this is C double bond O alpha carbon atom and beta carbon atom. On beta carbon atom OH group that is hydroxyl group is attached. Hence it is given as C hydroxybutanol. Now how this reaction takes place? We have to study the mechanism. So first we have a strong base that is sodium hydroxide. This sodium hydroxide dissociates into Na plus and OH minus. OH minus is a nucleophile. It is rich species of electron. That's why it is having a minus charge. Now this OH minus will go and attack one of the acetaldehyde unit. So we have acetaldehyde unit here and we have OH minus here which is a nucleophile here. Now this is a reactive intermediate. When it is a nucleophile it is highly reactive that's why it goes and attack the other group. So OH minus is there. This is going and attacking the carbon atom which is alpha and having the alpha hydrogen atom. So what does it do? OH minus grabs this H plus and eliminates as water and this turns as an enolate ion which is enolate ion in the sense the carbon is also called as carbon ion because this carbon is having a two electrons with a minus charge. Carbon ions in the sense carbon with the negative charge is called as enolate ion. So now enolate ion goes to the other acetaldehyde group, the remaining acetaldehyde group. So what does it do? This enolate ion goes and attacks this carbonyl carbon atom. When carbonyl carbon atom is attacked by the enolate ion, the double bond, the pi electrons of this pi bond shifts to the more electronegative oxygen. So this is called as electrolytic effect where the movement of the electron takes place intramolecularly to the other atom in the molecule which may be temporary or permanent to the reacting, uh, to the attacking reagent from outside. So now when this CH2 goes and attacks this carbon atom, this will give a place to this. So this complete compound attached to this carbon atom giving you this intermediate. This is anion because it is having minus charge, so that's why it is called as anion intermediate. So now this O minus the difference between this and the end product is one H. So we need a H here. So what does we do? We introduce a water molecule here. H2 is dissociated as H plus and OH minus. So this is O minus now. It will combine with this H plus and give you a hydroxyl group here. So that is OH. And the remaining compound CH2C 
double bond OH is retained as such an aldol. These OH minus 